Hey, it's your Boomer Consumer. Today we're looking at the Cohen SE7 Active Noise Canceling Wireless Headphones. Now, as a disclaimer, these were sent to me at no cost by Cohen for review. However, all opinions are my own, and no one has reviewed this video prior to posting. And if you like these and are interested, I have the Cohen links down uh, below in the description. And right now you can pick them up for around 80 bucks. Okay, let's just go over some of the features before we unbox this. They come available in black, green, white, gold, uh, champagne, and magenta. Now these come with professional active noise cancellation, built-in microphones, uh, sounds great on calls. You got your Bluetooth 5, protein ear pads, they're foldable, an 800 milliamp hour battery that lasts about 30 hours of playtime, comes with 40 millimeter drivers, the aptX low latency with fault tolerance system, weighs about 9.5 ounces or 269 grams. Let's go ahead and unbox these and take a look what's inside. Okay, so when you open up the box, and I think Cohen does a great job with their packaging, the first thing you're gonna see is their thank you card. Just a nice touch. And then a booklet that's your instructions on how to pair the headphones with your phone, your TV, your computer. Next is a very useful user manual. You want to use that to uh, learn all the controls and how they work on the headphones. And then a warranty card. And then a warning card. Make sure you don't use any more than five volts when charging this. What the warning is all about. You do some damage to these. Next is a very nice case that Cohen provides for the earphones. Got a really solid zipper to it as well. Included in there is a small accessory pouch and then the headphones themselves. And I just, they felt great. They felt professional. They don't feel cheap. They have a nice solid feel to them. Inside the pouch, there is your airplane adapter. In case you're going to travel, you're going to fly. Then there is a 3.5 millimeter to 6.5 millimeter audio converter, a micro USB charging cable, and then a 3.5 millimeter audio cable. And that's what you get in the box. Okay, so the next step is going to be pairing this up with my phone. It's a Samsung Galaxy S8 uh, Plus. And basically all you have to do is hit the multifunction button for about a second and a half to turn on the headphones. And it'll automatically go into pairing mode. And the whole process, from my phone discovering these to the time it connected, was about 15 seconds. Now what I want to do is go over some of the controls with you. And uh, hopefully we can get the light on here just right. This button at the top of the right headphone is your noise canceling off and on. I want to talk about that for just a second. This does a great job. I live in a very noisy neighborhood. And just at a flick of a button, it eliminated most of the low frequency noise. That's kind of what the noise reduction is designed for, that low rumble of, you know, the airplane noise, the lawnmowers, you know, that kind of stuff. And it does a super good job. Not only did I test it on myself, but I had several other people test it, and they were very impressed with the noise cancellation on here. Cancellation. I should say. After that, you have a, this is your volume up and fast forward button. A quick tap will turn the volume up. A long press will skip to the next track. In the middle is your multi-function button. We'll talk about that more in a minute. On the bottom is volume down or go rewind uh, with a long press. And those are the buttons there. You have a 3.5 millimeter input jack here as well. And then you have the USB micro, or micro USB charging port on the right headphone. You also have a small microphone right here in this ear cup. And the other ear cup, the left ear cup also has a microphone. Now let's talk about the multifunction button on here. A quick a press of one and a half seconds will turn on the headphones. Three and a half seconds, long press, will turn it off. A quick press will play and pause for these as well. And, and that's what the multifunction button does on here. If you want to answer a call, quick press of the multifunction button to answer the call. Another quick press to end the call. 
Those are the controls on the headphones. A nice protein leather, pleather I think is what some people refer to it. Very soft, very nice cushion on there as well. The old stretch test, nice and stretchy. Got a nice metal band in here. Both sides, so it's nice and adjustable. These are over the ear headphones. And as far as the headband goes, a nice, nice thick padding on here as well. Very comfortable. I actually wore them for three hours watching a Netflix movie. I listened to some music. Uh, very comfortable. Of course, every once in a while you want to take them off and kind of give your ears a little bit of a break. But other than that, they feel very solid. These things are going to last. They're not cheaply made. Nice adjustable headband on here. Nice steel on there. Nicely made. Okay, listening to music with these headphones. The music had a very nice deep bass response to it, and I was very pleased about that. It didn't overshadow the vocals, okay? Sometimes the bass is so optimized on headphones that it overshadows the singer's voice. That is not the case with these. The higher end sounds, you know, like cymbals, that type of stuff, was, was pretty good. Not fantastic, but it was definitely doable. All in all, music sounded very good. Where I think these really shine um, was especially with a lot of, lot of uh, singers' voices, as well as dialogue on video. Man, it was really, really good. Now, as far as phone calls go, uh, very clear phone calls on the air. Uh, no problem hearing who I called. No problem uh, them hearing me. Voices sounded good and clear. These are an extremely popular and affordable set of headphones. Now, I also use it with a 3.5 millimeter line jack on there as well. And uh, I thought the music sounded just as good uh, that as it did with the Bluetooth connection, which is kind of surprising because sometimes I have a little bit of latency issue, but their um, AptX latency, um, I think, compensated for that. So no problem listening to music and video over Bluetooth. Uh, I even tried editing a little bit of video with it, and sometimes a Bluetooth headphone will go out a little bit out of sync with the, uh, editing the video and what I'm hearing on the headphones. Not the case with this. I was nicely impressed. 30-hour playtime on a charge. Been using it for four days. <laughs> four days. A lot of heavy using and uh, heavy use, I should say. And haven't had to recharge these at all. This is a nice, solid set of headphones. They fold up for travel. Fit to, have, to give you a nice case to go with it. I think they're well made. I think you would be hard pressed to find a better headphone in this price range without spending two or three hundred bucks on a set of headphones. You're going to get a nice noise canceling. And, and I, I can't tell you how good the noise cancels. They, I have a tough time with that word. The noise canceling for these headphones, how well it works. Because like I, I had several people try them out. Very impressed. Very, very impressed. And uh, definitely, you want to give these a look. I know there's a competitive market out there, but Cohen makes good stuff, and they've got a lot of good ratings on Amazon and other places. People love Cohen products. I think you'll like these. Bruce Naylor, your Boomer Consumer, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.